Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at new Prada Beauty lipsticks. So I have another video with everything that I've purchased so far from Prada Beauty and I will leave that video linked down below in the description box. There are some additional lipsticks in there if you'd like to look at the lip swatches and so forth. But Prada, along with coming to the US finally at Sephora and Nordstrom, they have had a store on Prada Beauty's website. But along with that, they also launched new nude lipsticks. And I feel like this is really kind of what they were missing in their line were some lighter nude shades, especially some with some rosier tones. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, just one thing to note here, we do have two different styles of packaging. These are refillable. You can purchase just the refills. And the silver is going to be your soft matte formula. The gold is your hyper matte formula. So the difference essentially is that your soft matte is going to be colors with a white base and they are going to be a little bit more sheer, you know, a little less opaque. You've got that soft blurred lip look. The hyper matte, you still get that blurred lip look, but the shades are gonna be more opaque and you're looking at colors with a black base. So those are gonna be our main differences between the formulas. And let's go ahead and start off with the soft mattes. This first shade here is B108, and this is going to be the shade beige. So let's go ahead and put this very softly here, and we'll just go ahead and do one swat, swipe, and then build that up a little bit. So this is beige, and you can see this is really gonna be a soft nude peach. This is not as light as concealer lips, and you'll see that, but for an everyday look like this, it's a little bit too light for me. However, it is one of those shades that looks fantastic with dramatic makeup. So if you're doing like a smoky look, this is kind of that perfect, you know, light shade with just a little bit of color, but not so little that you have concealer lips. Next, we have P158 Maranti. And this one here is going to be a little bit deeper and a little bit rosier. So we have more of this soft rose. It's still a very light nude look. Uh, very nice, soft, neutral rose shade. Next up, we have number B101. This one is actually not one of the new shades. It's new to me though. This is Thai Polo and this might be their best seller. It's definitely one of them because when they originally launched at Selfridges, this is the shade that just kept selling out. You can see that this is also going to be nude, but this is going to be a little bit more of a peachy nude with a little bit of caramel in there, and it's going to be a little bit deeper. We have a little bit of a rusty red in there as well. So you can see this one's going to be a little bit warmer, yet it's still close to that neutral range. Speaking of caramel, this shade here is B106, which is called Caramel. This is the one that is on my lips right now. And I have to say, I thought it would be uh, more of a true brown, but you can see it's actually a rosy brown. We do have pink hues in there. And I think that's what makes this a really great, more everyday brown. You don't have one of those yellow browns uh, and you don't have something that kind of can look a little deadening. So it does have a rosy, undertone to it so this is gonna be a little bit cooler yet the great thing about it is it's still neutral and then the last one of the soft mattes i just picked up is b105 this is called tonka and you can see this is going to be more of a berry shade and it is a stunning berry so if you like berry but you want something a little bit softer, more filtered, you still want that berry shade, but maybe a little bit more muted, this is that perfect berry. So these are gonna be the soft mattes that I picked up. Now let's move on to the hyper mattes. I picked up three of the hyper mattes. So this one here is B13, this is marron. And you can see with one swipe that these are definitely gonna be more opaque. And this is gonna be a soft nude brown. And this is a pretty classic nude brown. There are some slightly golden undertones to it, yet it is not overwhelmingly warm. It's still gonna be neutral on the spectrum. I think it's a really great everyday nude. Now this one here is P58 Tamaris. And this one is gonna be more of a soft, warm rose. You can see we definitely have warmer undertones in here. It's 
It's got a little bit more of that salmon pink shade. It's a really pretty warm rose. So this one will skew a bit warmer. Honestly, I think it's a really pretty shade. P59 Amarena. This one is going to be a little bit, you can see it definitely looks cooler in the bullet. It is a little bit cooler on the skin as well. We have a little bit of mauve in here, but it's still gonna be more of that rose shade not really a true mauve there's just a hint of that in there which cools it off a little bit so these are a lot of the new nude shades from Prada Beauty and you can see we definitely have kind of something for everybody we go very light we go a little bit deeper we have warmer and cooler tone shades but everything is hovering right around neutral on the spectrum making them very versatile for a lot of skin tones so let's move on to lip swatches while we're taking a look at the lip swatches, just a few details here about the products themselves. The lipsticks retail for 50 US dollars and the refills are 40 US dollars. So you can purchase the refills, but they do not sell the cases separately at this time. And overall, you know, as I mentioned, we have two different formulas here. We have the soft matte with the silver packaging and the hyper matte with the gold in the center of the packaging. So our soft mattes have buildable coverage. So we go from more of a light to medium coverage for the lipstick. You can definitely get a little bit more of that sheared lip look. It's a lightweight feeling on the lips with a diffused matte finish. And according to Prada, it lasts for up to six hours. I would say that that is pretty accurate. In general, four to six hours is the wear time that I get with the soft mattes. Obviously the deeper shades will leave a bit more of a stain, so they will appear to last longer than the lighter shades. For something comparable in finish, the Givenchy Sheer Velvets have a very similar look on the lips, but I do believe that the Prada Beauty has a little bit more of a blurring finish to it. And it also feels just a little bit more moisturizing than the Givenchy Sheer Velvets, which is one of my all time favorite formulas. The Hyper Matte Lipsticks, again, they are also refillable. We have a lightweight texture for these. They actually don't feel much heavier than the Soft Matte Lipsticks. They both have a very similar feeling on the lips and they both have that blurred finish. But the Hyper Matte is supposed to have more intense color with just one swipe. So it is more opaque. I would say that in this case, you're looking at more medium to full coverage on the lips. And as I mentioned, our soft matte lipsticks start off with a white base, whereas the hyper matte start off with a black base. So we're looking at more intense colors as well. Now, as I mentioned, texturally, these feel very similarly to the soft matte lipsticks on the lips, but they do feel slightly creamier, like there's a little bit more product on the lips. So with one swipe of the hyper matte, it feels more like three swipes of the soft matte and you can build that up from there. They never get to the point of being an incredibly creamy lipstick, something like the Givenchy Deep Velvets. They are not that type of velvet. It is really just a more intense version of a soft blurred lipstick. And I find them to be very comfortable. And one thing I'd like to note about these lipsticks, Anytime you're looking at some sort of blurring lipstick, you do get a little bit of a powdery feel. Neither of these formulas feel like those dry powder mattes that we saw you know, several years ago. They are definitely more hydrating than that and more comfortable. So overall, I think these are a great lipstick formula. I'm really happy with the new shades. I think they did a really great job of, you know, having something to offer for everyone. Let's take a look at some arm swatches of the other Prada Beauty lipsticks that I have. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with the soft mattes. And I have some brighter colors here. This one here is P157. The shade names are not on the lipsticks, so I'll have to look those up, but just so you know, they do have the identification number here. And if you purchase, you know, a, a new full size lipstick, it's also on the bottom. So this one here is P157, which is a really beautiful, cool tone rose with a little bit of fuchsia in there. And then we have P156, which is a warmer, more neon pink here. And you can see it's just a really great summer pop, more of a strawberry pink. And then the other soft matte that I have is R127, which is a really nice 
blue-based red, but still pretty neutral on the spectrum. It is not an overly blue-red, but there is definitely a blue in there. Now, a quick look at the hypermats. This one here is B01. I'll put this one down here with our other hypermats. And you can see that this is also going to be a, a brown, but you can see the difference between the two of these. This one actually is ever so slightly warmer and lighter, yet we also still have a rosy hue in there. So there's a little bit more of a difference. This one is definitely more of a true brown, whereas you can see a little bit of like peach and pink mixed into this one here, which is the maroon shade. This one is B02, and in this case, we're looking at, again, another warm pink, but you can see that this one is, definitely has a lot more peach. It's gonna be significantly warmer than any of the new pinks that I picked up. This one here, which is probably the closest, is shade P58. And then the last one here is P55, and this is just, again, another bright fuchsia pink, really bright, shocking shade, uh, perfect for summer. We do have a bit of a blue base in there. So these are the previous shades, and again, I do have those with lip swatches in a separate video, so I'll leave that linked down below. And we have our new shades here. So I hope this was helpful. Overall, I have to say I'm very happy with the new Prada Beauty lipstick shades. I think they definitely fill a void in their collection for the nude shades. And we have a lot of those My Lips But Better types of shades in here, which I feel like that is something that needs to make a comeback. We haven't quite seen so many of those like perfect MLBB shades you know, in the past few years. So very happy to see these and add them to my collection. I know they definitely filled a void for me. So hopefully this was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful day.